Hello and welcome to uh, Mindfulness Monday. I hope you're all well. I, I'm assuming I've never done this before in terms of um, in terms of doing a Facebook Live this way round. I hope you're all okay. Um, we're just going to tonight. We're going to do some Mindfulness Monday. This is normally what we do um, when we're in uh, Light and Harmony. And um, the actual uh, uh, session we're going to be doing is is about spirituality. And I believe that there's spirituality and there's spiritualism, okay? And spirituality and spiritualism, um, spirituality is about connection and relationship with yourself. Spiritualism is a belief system that you don't die, that you pass over, and that you have the ability to work with those people um, in spirit. But tonight is about, or today is about, um, spirituality which is about connection and relationship with self um, good evening David good evening Adam um, I've never used this setup before so I hope um, you can all see it if you want to pop any comments you can um, I'm going to run through and obviously hello Mamta um, all good with me I hope it was all good with you um, I'm going to run through where I see mindfulness and some of you may have done my mindfulness courses or some of you may have done my my mediumship or the psychic courses but the mindfulness really People, a lot of people talk about the, the problem with it. Hello, Constantina or oh, Eleanor. Um, the problem with it is, is a lot of people overthink it, all right? And mindfulness meditation is as simple as, you know, for me, meditation is not about not having any thoughts. It's about having no judgmental thought. Hello, someone. And those non-judgmental thoughts, we have a, a, a point of focus. In this instance, when we do mindfulness, it's our breath, okay? We have a point of focus, which is our breath, and then we don't have any... Um, uh, uh, non-judgmental thoughts so what we're doing is we're closing our eyes we're focusing on our breath if a thought comes in we accept it we acknowledge it we let it go we come back to our breath okay and it's really important that we practice mindfulness breathing mindfulness meditation and yes you're going to have thoughts yes you're going to have be disturbed by noises or you're going to whatever the scenario is but the reality is every time you're disturbed or a thought comes in, you accept it, you acknowledge it, you let it go, and you come back to your breath, okay? And it's a very simple technique. And that technique allows you to connect with your body. It allows you to move away from your subconscious mind. But also mindfulness is about understanding that although our thoughts on times seem real, they're very rarely are they true. They're definitely very rarely not facts, okay? But we can get lost in our thoughts. We can get caught up in our thoughts. Hello, Melanie, okay? And those thoughts really, they sometimes just come into our minds. And and John Kabat-Zinn, and for those people who, who um, know me and have seen a lot of things I do, I all preach a lot of John Kabat-Zinn. And he talks about how thousands of things have happened in my life, and some of them actually have. And what that means is, is our minds will uh, paint a picture and the reality is something very different, okay? So if you think about it logically, you know, if I go outside or whatever the scenario is and I'm my, the front door's open, my dog's gone out, you know, I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, my dog's been run over, blah, 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 blah. And the next thing I go outside and, my, and for those 10 seconds, I'm absolutely living the fact that my dog has been run over. The reality is when I go outside, he's just laying on the grass, looking up at the at the sun, basking in the warmth. And <clears throat> and really, you know, for those moments I lived it. The reality is, is a lot of things that are the, the pictures are, our mind paints aren't ones that are of reality. And the real interesting thing about mindfulness is the ability to create a space to lean back from those thoughts and not lean into them. Don't get me wrong, sometimes physical chemical reactions in your body can create or start feelings of anxiety, feelings of stress, feelings of concern, feelings of fear. You can hear my little um, rescue dog barking in the background and I'm hoping she'll be quiet before we start the meditation, okay? But, you know, with all of those things, it really is about trying to lean back, create space. So if you're sat there and whatever you're doing, you're watching television and a thought comes into your mind, don't lean into it and just start unpacking it. Lean back from it. See it as a thought. It might be an emotion. You might think a thought, feel an emotion. Yeah? Just let it come. Let it rise. Let it go. Don't sit into it. Don't allow it to gather and gain momentum. Hello, Angie. Hello, Kim. 
okay? And that's the key to this, all right? And as David says, he keeps crashing at his end. I'm assuming that it's only David's issue because there are still 15 people in the room. He seems to be having some tech problems recently, old David boy. Um, but that's what we're looking to do with mindfulness, okay? So we're gonna do two meditations this evening. And I assume that some people may be joining as we're going along. Hello, Elaine. All right. Some people may be coming in uh, right now and, and, and can't do a meditation, but we'll be doing two meditations. This is obviously recorded, so you'll be able to watch it back. The first meditation really is about bringing your mind back from thoughts. OK, bringing your mind that back from thoughts. Hello, Martin. OK, and that means for us, I want you to do a couple of things here. I want to make sure that we're going to go into a meditation, that you're doing things that ordinarily um, you don't need your full concentration. So things like driving or anything like that, if you can please stop doing that. Ideally, you'd be in a room where you're not going to get disturbed. OK, now you may be watching this on your phone. All right. But what we want to be doing is really just having a few moments to ourselves. OK, and before we do it, we remember that you know, thoughts really are, okay, a human experience. They're part of our human experience. We don't need to push them away. We don't need to do anything really to, to practice it. We just, we learn to bring our mind back and, and, and from these thoughts, from these emotions. And it's that practice that can really help. You know, I've said before in my book, etc., that, you know, I was struggling badly from, um, uh, from, from depression and from anxiety after my father passed away. But learning mindfulness techniques, it really helped me to have five conscious breaths, come back from that feeling of that anxiety, that rush in your chest when sometimes you have those anxious moments. Just being able to connect in with your body and just allow it to be, okay? A really, really important tools. So what I want you to do now is I want you just to close your eyes, okay? I want you to get comfortable. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to let go of thoughts that that maybe once have pulled you in, okay? This offer really, you know, this exercise really allows us to unhook ourselves from the thoughts so that we can simply let them be, okay? So just close your eyes and without pushing thoughts away or denying their presence, okay? You can be aware of the thinking mind while remaining completely unattached from these things. So with your eyes closed now, I'd like you to just to take a deep breath in and just hold it for a second and then breathe out. And in doing so with your eyes closed now, just follow your own natural breathing rhythm, but notice the energy in the mind and body. Just settle in and see, you know, you're coming into a period of, of mindfulness practice. You may notice the energy that you've had so far today. You may find it resting in your mind or or in your body. The mind may be active at this point. It, the body may feel maybe a little bit anxious, maybe a little bit worked up, or you may notice a bit of lingering stress or, or fear. Don't worry, just allow it to be. Just following your own natural breathing pattern with your eyes closed. And in your own mind, I want you to bring to mind or think of a you know, a shaken snow globe. And as you shake that snow globe, the energy in the, the snow just swirls around. And as you look at it and you just let it rest, the little snowflakes fall gently to the ground. And I just want you to think of yourself as a, as a snow globe and every snowflake as a thought. In this way, we watch as each and every snowflake falls to the ground. We don't force it. We don't ask it to go faster. We don't ask it to go slower. We don't ask it to calm down. We just let the flat snowflake just slowly and organically fall to the ground. And that's like your thoughts. So bring your attention to the breath in your body. Just allow it to be. And just bring to yourself a sensation or a spot where you feel the breathing is where it is and it feels easy. It may be the center of your chest, it may be your abdomen, your shoulders, your nostrils. But just observe the physical sensation of the body breathing. 
observing the breath for a few moments. And then if the mind just wanders, if you think of a thought or you feel an emotion, just bring it back, bring it back to your mind. Again, with the visualization of the snow globe, as thoughts begin to rise, observe them as they slowly just settle down. And just focusing on your breath, your awareness now to, to maybe include some of your thoughts, your general mental state. And instead of returning to the breath when the mind wanders, in this instance now, just notice what the mind is doing. You may notice yourself sort of planning or, or, or thinking or figuring out or replaying past experiences or worried about Christmas or how am I, can I meditate? How can I do these things? But just observe what the mind is doing and let it be. And just recognize a thought. See it as a thought. And just see what happens. Try to acknowledge the thought, but don't push it away. Don't draw it in. Just allow it to be. Allow it just enough space for it to go on its own. And just see it, if you can watch this passing thought as it follows its national, uh, natural trajectory. And it just leaves your mind. And then just return to the breath. And patiently wait until another thought arises and just notice watch the thought and come back to the breath again and again and again and sometimes we can just get lost in the thought or our mind wanders for some time and in this instance if self-judgment arises notice that it's just a thought not factually correct it's not even true and return back to your breath you can always return to the breath for a few moments just to ground yourself back into your mindfulness practice just allowing yourself to be feeling your breath coming in and coming out and just allowing yourself those moments of silence. The moments of just being held in the energy around you. And again, if a thought comes in, you can accept it, acknowledge it, let it go and come back to your breath. To take a deep breath in, wiggle your fingers, come back into the room. You see, a lot of people get confused about the fact that mindfulness or meditation is not having any thoughts. You know, oh, I won't be able to do that. I'm not a, I'm not a Buddhist monk, or I'm not a hippie, or I'm not. You know, mindfulness meditation is there for all of us. It's there for us to truly be with ourselves and just sit in that energy. Let me know how you've gone in the comments section. And it's a really good way of, of moving away from stress, moving away from anxiety. Because your body, when it goes into fight or flight, when you focus on your breath, it brings you back down. It, it starts your parasynthetic system that allows you to reduce endorphins and, and really create uh, things that can really help. It's a pleasure, Claire. What we're going to do now is we're going to do another meditation. This one's slightly longer, okay? And this is a meditation about anxiety, all right? And how we can heal ourselves from anxiety, but also give ourselves coping tools to be able to cope when we become anxious. You see, mindfulness doesn't always stop you from being anxious or bad things happening in your life because do you know what that's life life isn't always plain sailing and there are ups and downs and that's I believe what you're here for you're here to have that human experience you're here 
this is what you've signed up for <laughs> and this is why we're here at this moment in time but what we can do is we can find ways modalities tools to help you to move away from those situations because ultimately you know you can be in control of these things and you can just be with them and allow them to be as they are so again what i want you to do is just get comfortable get into that relaxed position and and just you know just close your eyes and just allow yourself to to just focus on your breath again and just remember that we sometimes feel anxious because we overanalyze what we think will happen today tomorrow or the next week we do this out of habit because in the past situations and outcomes that didn't happen the way we expected we tend to feel as if we're then not in control and we become worried so in order to change this habit we must change our self-image and create some of these new beliefs and that's what this session's about this session's about teaching you to get into that relaxed state and go within into this calming mind with breathing, with breath, okay? Hello, Kyla. And I just want you now, just with your eyes closed, hi, Mary. And I just want you to close your eyes and I just want you to just take a breath in and I'm gonna count down now. And with every number I say, I want you to fully inhale with your belly and exhale, tightening your belly. And with each breath, you're gonna feel more and more relaxed. You're gonna take yourself into this deep state of peace and calm okay so i'm going to count down now eyes closed just nicely breathing but just take a deep breath in now five take that breath in and as you exhale i want you to let it go i want you to feel the tension loosen just a little bit okay four take a nice deep breath in and as you exhale again i want you to feel even more relaxed and just letting the tensions go. Three, another full breath in, hold it for a second and let it out. And in doing so, your mind is becoming calm and clear. Two, inhale deeply and when you exhale, just observe how the need to control subsides as you become really extremely relaxed. One, as you take your last breath in here and exhale slowly, you feel all the tension gone. You feel completely at ease and at peace. And you sense and feel the energy changing around you into this wonderful feeling of tranquility. Now I want you to hear yourself in your mind just saying these things. With fear and anxiety coming, you can say this to yourself. I've survived this before. I'll survive anything now. I'm strong and I persevere through anything. I know that I'm not my anxiety and that I can take things one step at a time. I am cultivating to live only in this moment and I approach all situations with openness and curiosity and I'm in charge of my breath and I can slow it down whenever I need to I enjoy these moments I enjoy my feelings of inner calm and these meditations I'm actively taking steps to reduce my anxiety. I am talented and I have many things to offer and I cultivate patience to overcome anxiety. I'm courageous and I can make it through everything. And I use my unique skills to move beyond anxiety. And going forward, I know what I value and I place my energy there. Life wants what's best for me. I am comfortable and connected with my environment. 
and I can find pleasure in my life right now. I'm moving to a space where I only allow for healthy decisions in my life. I am strong, I am an independent person, I am loved, I am unique, I am important, I am enough. I matter, therefore I am worthy. And I can do this. I love who I am and I am in control. I control my mind, it does not control me. I have the power to stop this and I succeed what I do. I am relaxed and I am calm. I am successful and I am free from anxiety. I'm in control and I can be above stress of any kind. All is well. I am safe. I am prepared for change. I am strong. I acknowledge when it's difficult and I will rise above it. I am me and I am enough. Just follow your breath for a few moments, just absorbing all those words you've said, taking them on board and allowing them now to be your mantra to go forward. Forward into a life where you are enough, you are loved and you are love. Now I'm going to count that down from five and with each number I say you gain more and more awareness of the present moment. And you take with you all that you've gained today. You take action now with a new, new mindset, ready to tackle any challenges without being anxious or worried or have fear. Five. Coming back slowly. Four. Feel your body now as you sit here in the chair. Three. Becoming more alert. Two. You are always surrounded a bit more now than you ever were before. One, you are enough. You feel fully awake and completely refreshed. Open your eyes, come back into the room and wiggle your fingers. I take on board that some of those statements, and this is I, this will be recorded so it'll be able to be on the page for a while, I would assume, but some of those statements are difficult for some more than others saying to people that I love myself, I am successful, I am free, I am safe, I love who I am. All of these positive affirmations people struggle with because we have this thing about putting ourselves down. And I want to say something that I said a couple of weeks ago, um, and that is this. Your subconscious mind has been programmed, it's hard drive in your head by all the things that you have experienced all the things that you have been taught all the environments that you lived in all the relationships you've had all of the jobs you've worked everything in your life has been programming this hard drive and that hard drive is just a reflection of all of those things and your hard drive in your soul in your heart in your inner self in your higher self is what you came here with, with the wisdom and the divine light and energy and love. But yet we use the hard drive that we've programmed, not the hard drive that we use with the, with the knowledge in. And if your subconscious mind, this hard drive, was your flatmate, then you would probably ask them to leave. Because when you sit down to watch some television tonight with a cup of tea and your flatmate starts... Oh, you didn't do much today, did you? Did I do enough? Got to get up in the morning. How am I going to do that? Oh, I knew I should have bought this. I haven't got any presents. What happens if the presents you've got aren't good enough? If they're not good enough, what are you going to do then? How are you going to do this by yourself? You're rubbish. You can't do this. If somebody was sat next to you saying all of those things, you would ask them very politely to get up and leave. But yet when it comes from our subconscious mind, we not only accept it, but we believe it. And that 
is not right. And when we start to see our subconscious mind as just noise, static chatter, which 99.9% .9 of the time is absolute codswallop, then we can start to move away from all of those things. We start to move away from fear, anxiety, depression, sadness, because they're just your subconscious mind. It isn't true. Allow yourself to sit in the space with your true self, your higher self, your soul, and make decisions from that point, not from a dogmatic mind that has been programmed by everything that you've seen or saw for many, many years, however many years you've been on this planet, this great rock flying around the sun. I hope that you enjoyed that. Maybe we should do some more of these. April, thank you very much. She absolutely loves these affirmations. When I was saying them in my mind, I kept getting tingles on my head and all around. Felt that love and healing from the divine in the universe. Thank you so much. It's because we are all blessed by the divine. We all have the God particle in us. We all have the ability to feel that energy from the universe. We just don't. We just sit in our subconscious mind. And some of these things, I was told something yesterday and it made me laugh because we've said before in our Mindfulness Mondays that, hello Galita, I hope you're well. God bless you, by the way. I'm sending you my thoughts and a big kiss. Okay. Um, is this. There's different ways of looking at um, our lives. And we always have choice. But that choice on times is formed by your subconscious mind and the narrative and the habitual chatter that you get into. And somebody said to me yesterday about being positive. You can be negative or you can be positive. And they said, think of this as an example. There are two people cleaning out a horse stables to take the horse for a ride. One complains about the smell, the mess, the coldness and the horse shit and the other one says, I'm just looking forward to getting it done to ride the horse. Think about that logically. One moans about the process. The other one looks forward to riding the horse. Which one are you? Because like those two people in the stables, both of them have a choice as to think what they're thinking. Have a wonderful Christmas if I don't see you before. God bless you all. Be love and give love. Thank you for all of your love and support. Thank you for everything you do on this page. Thank you for all being here this evening. Maybe we could do some more. That would be wonderful. I do appreciate everything you do. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Christmas, whatever you're doing. God bless you. Be love and give love. Take care and see you all soon. Goodbye.